here there is a one problem once you are going to click on new student and there is a student name will come so if you are going to write like here and uh, just enter some value this 5 class name class 8 and roll number I am going to write something and uh, if you are going to final term just add some value 100 uh, 50 add to list that I am going to science then 100 then if you are going to write like a 20 add to list so once I am going to click on save the data is successfully added ok once you oh, click ok and close this one so as you can see here the data is not refreshing here once again you are going to reload so you can see the data so now it's came so what will do that once you are going to click that save it should come here so what we actually we have done we are using that for each loop the index index okay here to the table layout yeah this this here I have added okay so what the problem is here if, because this one we cannot load every times because this one is coming once that form is loaded that a home and home controller that index matters function are going to call so that time it will be load so you, every time you cannot call this one because it, that particular data is not required every time this one is a fixed one so it should be remain same only for only this one we should not use it's a not a good practice so what we will do that we will create a javascript file this one will be okay till that your table layout is okay only this one we will add through dynamically just cut it out this one okay so give the name that is the id table load your student okay this should become i am going to paste this one into notepad paste it here okay now come to here the javascript here i am going to write like a document function create the function one that is a load load student okay okay that is a load student so it will be called like a dollar dot ajax function and same like that need to write a sync it will be the true type get and move it here then data type it will be the json then url i'm going to create that url it will be that home slash load student this one will be the url the next one will be content type will be that application json asset equal to utf 8 the next one is that success it will become the function the data so what data will be return that is your student data and so last one will be the error that will be the function that will give the error alert there is some problem to process your request that is done okay so this data we need to add into that particular table so what's the table name table student it will be that dollar as table load student this one is your table name if you come down 
so you can see here this one is your table load student here we need to write so what how will you bind that first student name exam name class name and roll number and action will be banned here create one variable first of all we need to call create one action method here this here it will be that your public action result but it, it will be the json result because json value we are going to return that load and so return the json so what it will be load that is your entities create that entities obg db entities dot your student master this should be load and next one will be the json allow get so this student master let's see that one first we need to join so go to the top because this one we have used list of student just copy this one this one it should not come here because i am not going to return so it should come here paste it here this one i am going to return only okay simple here one join is there i am joining with that your exam table because here if you will look that student master there is exam id so therefore because i am not we don't want to show that exam id id so we are going we are joining there with that exam table this exam table with that exam id exam id and this exam id i am joining that i have created that link query okay that is done next so class name roll number let's open that your notepad first one is a student name come here you have to write like here dollar dot each function first one this one will be the data okay data then function first one will be the index and second one is that your value now you can write like a where table row equal to empty first one table row is empty the next you need to start equal to so let's start with that your first one is the tr then your td so here need to add that first one is value student name plus close the tt open the tt value dot second one is the class name then plus again same thing need to copy plus value dot what is the next one exam name then class name so this one should come here here it will come exam name okay then again plus then it will be the roll number open this one this particular home control what's the roll number that is the roll number so that one is it now we need to add that your button once you are going to click that particular button then it will be display your details so just open the notepad so this one is actually your button okay so we need to add this one first one need to close this one need to close your td 
then open td then here your button will come your simple this button so we can make a single quote and then close that quote this quote for everything which, which one is a double quote make it single quote Now here you can see that I have added that table row that all those field that first one is that student name so I have closed with the ATD open TD then exam name then close TD open TD same like that other the final I have created one button so that particular buttons the display mark same thing other and X I have created that function and I'm passing that student mark ID the same thing we have done so if you uh, go to the student marks so it will be here this is the this all things I have done in previous video only this one I am adding that particular table dynamically now need to append so here this one is going to close so after that we are going to append this particular table just close the delete this one here it will become that append function append what I need to attend that is a table row okay this one is a table row okay that is done so now after that we have to call this particular load student into document.ready functions once that your DOM will be ready then this method will be called so that one one thing has been done second is the same function we need to call once you are going to click on a save that save is done so that also same time it should call so search that save click this one is your save click okay go to this one function here so after that save reset so again here also need to call same method now if you run the application just run the application So you can see that your data same things happen it's loaded once you are going to click on display marks so here you can see the details here also if you click you will see the details and this one also click you can see the your details that your marks particular student marks now if you are going to click just a refresh okay now if you are going to click that uh, new student marks so now I'm going to add some value that is a take six that class is 12 roll number is 123908 then final term going to add some value that is 150 math 160 then again science 190 Oh, sorry math already there then science add to list then history 130 now if you're going to click on the save click on save data successfully added click on ok oh so no need to clear that table Go to here where you are appending that one first need to clear the table so before that just uh, what need to clear your table so how you will clear before loading you have to clear the table that is a call this particular method dot find your tr is greater than zero then remove this one we should call that your load method where is that load method this one load student every time once you are going to call before appending we should remove that one 
that particular table, then find 3 are g greater than 0, then remove. Let's check one time. Now run the application, everything is here and I have added that table to blank. So and here I am appending. So you are checking that one, if it's a greater than 0, that means header, we accept header, we skip the header and delete all those record and then appending again. Now run the application. Now click on new student marks. Here I am going to write like a take student tuition. That will be the 7 class 1 roll number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then term is the second term. I add the total mass that is 100, then 50, and then again math 100, 60 to list, then science 100 to 30. Click on add to list. Now, if you're going to click on save, the data successfully added. Click on OK. Now you can see that in the back side automatically that record has been added. Now if you click that display mask, you can see that your records. Okay. So nothing we have changed. First we have added that we were using this one strongly type. So but problem was that so it, this one is that for one time load. But this record your load student this would be called once the data will be saved at same time so it's, it will be load so that's why i have created that one function that is going to use that with the help of a jquery that is a load student and i've created one action method in that home controller that, that this one is your action method okay here i am jo joining with the two table first one is the, your student master and the exam because in the student master table that there, there is a exam id so that's why for the i want to get that exam name so that's why i have joined that exam table and here I am adding that in that one variable, I have created one variable and that variable I am adding here with the help of a each loop. Each loop that is a data, this one is coming from your action method, this data, like a JSON, okay. So that data I will get and it that I after that one function, this one is your index that is a sequence number and this one is your value. So that value we are appending here, that is a value with the, that this one is called dynamically, we are adding value. Okay, and I've created one button. This is the button, and uh, in the buttons, I've, I've created one events that is a on click events. Then I created one X method that is a student. I'm passing that student ID. I was that uh, it's that loop has finished. So, first, I'm removing that first record that is your header. If I skip that first record and do all those data, except that your header one, and then appending again. That's so simple. And once you are uh, going to click on a button save, this one is a add a student marks into the database. Once that it is going to be saved, just search that where it is. This one. So once the data has been saved, just like here, I uh, am getting that alert message, then resetting, then again loading once the data is set so i am loading again that is with the help of it, that particular method i hope it's a clear thanks for watching